Welcome to another episode of Harry Potter Talk. I'm John Barry, and today I am taking the Ultimate Lord Voldemort quiz. So, I have not seen any of these questions yet. Um, I, in fact, have delayed watching the Super Cullen Brothers take this exact quiz just so I could take it without knowing the answers. So, as soon as I'm done creating this video, I will be watching their video on the same quiz so how about I get right into it as I am planning so there are 30 questions so let's begin from whom does Voldemort take his first middle his first and middle names that would be his father and grandfather correct In the Harry Potter books, which character speaks Voldemort's name for the first time? It's either Dumbledore or Hagrid. Now, Hagrid does tell Harry, when, but that's how Harry first hears it, but does Dumbledore speak it before Harry is grown up in that first chapter? I'm going to say Hagrid. I could be wrong, but I'm going Hagrid. Incorrect. It was Dumbledore. I should have gone with that. I just could not remember for sure. Lord Grindelwald... I was going to say Lord Grindelwald not Lo instead of Lord Voldemort. Well, anyhow. Lord Voldemort killed Gilbert Grindelwald. True or false? I believe that is true, and he killed Grindelwald in his search for the Elder Wand. Hence, the Elder Wand there probably has a clue. I am correct. Select all that apply. Which of the following characters was not a Death Eater? Yes. Yes. Mm. Oh, was not. Not. Oh man, Finnegan Greyback. Was not a Death Eater. And Narcissa Malfoy, I don't think, was either. Augustus Rockwood? I'm not. I don't know, so I'm just gonna stick with the two I know for sure. I am correct. I mean, I need to get tripped up on that because I made the mistake of ignoring the knot. I just saw. Which of the following characters? Death Eater. I totally skipped the knot. Oh well. In which year was Voldemort born? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Well, he went to Hogwarts at the same time as Hagrid, who was, I believe, three levels, three years below. I think that might have been in the... I'm going to go 1929. Incorrect. 26. Ah, I honestly could not remember. Talk about. I could not remember that one at all. So I took a guess. When and when did Voldemort die? That's easy. Harry's seventh year. Let's see. I. May 2nd, obviously. I think 1998. I am correct. I believe what helped me remember it being 1998 is because 1998 is the year of my birth, and being that this all 1998 is the final year we get to see in the Harry Potter books, I think does kind of help me remember that a little better, pa possibly. How many times did Lord Voldemort ask to work at Hogwarts? At least twice. We know he did it shortly a after he completed his seventh year, and then once again, once Dumbledore was the headmaster of Hogwarts, and he went to hide th hide the Horcrux, that being the the di diadem of Ravenclaw. So I don't think there was a third or fourth time. There might have been, but twice for sure, and I am correct. Where did Voldemort walk after leaving Hogwarts? 
That would be Borgen and Books. In Dead Sea Hallows, Lord Voldemort has a taboo put on his name. What does this mean? Okay. Whoever says his name is trackable. Correct. That was a fairly important part of the book that you would have missed in the movie. Because they addressed it in the book. Unlike the movie. Oh, oh, well, okay. Which special ability... Oh, abilities and skills, skills and abilities does Voldemort possess? He's a possum mouth. He, yes, he is scared of that. But I, he... As far as we know, he's not an Animagus. And he's definitely not a Metamorphomagus. And I don't think, we never see him transform into anything, so... Pause mouth and legitimate and in, in occupancy. He's good as a submit. Correct. I'm surprised he didn't have Fly on there since he's the only character... Or the first one, at least. The movies do it slightly different, but he's shown to have mastered that. Oh, what new skill? Unaided flight. <laughs> okay, now I guess that makes sense. I would not be surprised if on um, when the Super Colin Brothers take the quiz, they include flight in the answer for the previous question. It would not surprise me at all. Or oh, their answer, I should say. In Sircone's Art of Memory, what does Sircone say to Tom Riddle with his friends? And his altered. Um, ooh, I honestly don't remember. Not that one. Let's go with this one. I am wrong. Oh, you go wrong, boy. Mark my words. Yeah, I guess I will make a bet. I don't know. Like, okay, I guess, no. Tom, whatever you do, don't make a whole cut. Still sounds a reasonable thing to say if you want to say, like, hey, just avoid it. Is essentially what that means. So I think it's understandable to make that mistake, but I honestly did not remember it at all. Well, next question is, what did Voldemort say was the most powerful magic number? Seven. Select all that apply. Which of the following people did Voldemort personally murder? Um. Nope. I don't know. No. Gildy Gil and Pirut? Um. Probably not. I think maybe only Bertha Jorkins. He did not kill Dobby. That was Bellatrix the Strange. Cedric Diggory w was killed by 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 um Wormtail, what was his real name? Peter Pettigrew, Mad Eye Moody, Peter Pettigrew actually actually no captured Yes, Mad Eye Moody, I'm pretty sure during you no know, during the when yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go with those two. And I'm correct in both counts. Ooh, me tricked myself up. What was Voldemort's blood status? Well, technically half blood, but really, um, if you want to talk about his soul status, like Harry's more Voldemort than Voldemort at the very end. Before Voldemort killed Harry, which really killed his own soul. But anyhow, half blood. Next question. What briefly happened to Professor Quirrell after Voldemort left his body? Um, what happened? He died. Next question. Before taking hold of the Elder Wand, what were the characteristics of Voldemort's regular wand? Phoenix Feather. Okay. Um, was it 13 and a half or 11 inches? Was it Holly or you? That's the question. Uh, yeah, pretty much if you know anything about Harry Potter, you would know Phoenix Feather for sure, but... I feel like this was 
Harry's wand, the Harley one. So I'm going to go with you. And I am correct. Why did Voldemort kill Severus Snape? He believed Snape was the master of the Elder Wand. Correct. What color was the new hand that Voldemort gave to Wormtail? Silver. What was, ingre what was the correct order of ingredients for his resurrection po or potion for resurrection? Okay, so... Flesh of a servant, blood of the enemy, bone of the father. Blood of the enemy is the last one. I'm going to go with bone of the father, flesh of the servant, blood of the enemy. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. I am correct. Whew, that was a tough, that was tough. What we really helped was remembering that blood of the enemy was at the very end. That really did help. According to J.K. Rowling, what was Voldemort's bar got? His own corpse. I'm pretty sure, I don't think I've read that on Pottermore itself, but I believe I've heard one of those Harry Potter YouTubers I'm subscribed to mention it. So I'm going to go with his own corpse, which actually would make sense. He feels his own death. I am correct. In which town did Voldemort murder Frank Bryce? Um, Great, ha so something Hangleton. Great Little Lower Upper. Well, all those I've heard used for for town, th these ta type of prefixes, so that doesn't help. I've seen, heard them used everywhere before. Not everywhere, but I've heard them used before. Great Hangleton. I'm thinking Little Hangleton. It's correct. A young Tom Riddle took two Muggle Balls to a cave where they were never quite right afterwards. Who were they? Um, I have no idea, but I'm going to go with the first one because I know why it just sounds right. <laughs> oh, man! It was the last name of Bishop, kind of like, that sounds familiar, I'm going with that. And apparently that was a strong enough intuition. What was the name of the Muggle orphanage in which Voldemort grew up? Oh, oh, Hemp's sounds about right. Wolves, Cotton, Steels, I think it was Hemp's orphanage. No, oh, it was Wolves or orphanage. Well, to be honest, I did not actually know that one. Just hemp sounded like it was the right name for the orphanage. I was wrong. Select all that apply. Which of these magical allies did Voldemort recruit during the Wizarding Wars? He recruited... Dementors? Werewolves? Giants? I don't think any mention of vampires were made. And I would consider... In theory, uh, I would consider them somewhat correct. I have not heard of that one, and I don't think it was vampires, so I'm going to submit. I am correct. Okay. In the book Goblet of Fire, what was the first thing Voldemort said when he had risen again? How many will be brave enough to return when they feel it? It is back. I have returned. Robe me. I'm going with the... Either robe me... It's either for the, How many will be brave enough or robe me. Maybe in the movies they robe me, but... I'm going to go with brave enough. Nope. Robe me. Which actually does make sense. Who would want a naked Voldemort? Don't even imagine that. I'm, I'm imagining... I'm trying not to think of that as I'm saying it, and I would say ugly would be my guess on what it would be. S so yeah, rob me would make total sense there. But I think this was a close second. Yeah, okay. Which two objects that were there to become Horcruxes Hulk did Tom secure from Hezabeth Smith? That would be, um, Hufflepuff's cup. 
Um, Scissor and Zocket, I'm thinking as well. Yeah. I know it's half past cup. Okay, select all that play. When Dumbledore visits Tom Riddle at the orphanage, which stolen objects did Tom have in his box? A yo-yo, I'm pretty sure. A tarnished mouth organ, also known as a harmonica. I don't know if he had a teddy bear, but I feel like that would be just like him to steal a teddy bear, so I'm going to include it, and I'm going to stay, stick at those three. No, a silver symbol, not a teddy bear. Okay, but I got two of the three correct. How does Vernon Dursley mistakenly refer to Voldemort? Um, Voldemort, Voldy thing, Moldy Mort, Voldemort. I'm going with that one. A uh, Voldy thing. Yeah, that makes sense. But I had no idea. I honestly did not. So I took a random guess. In the book Deathly House, what were Lord Voldemort's final words be before casting? Avada Kedavra, which are technically his final words, um, but what does it mean? I can attend to Draco Malfoy, no, its power is mine, we do on skill alone, oh man, I can't remember, it's one of these two, they sound right, it just sounds right, the p it's power, who is mine? Referring to the elder one, based off what his conversation with Harry said, we do on skill alone, though that could be also another thing he would say. I'm gonna say its power is mine. Oh, I can attend to Draco Malfoy? Okay, um, yeah, I don't remember that. I wonder. Well, I wonder if the Super Colin Brothers got that one, or uh, got this one right. Cause that does not sound right. Why would he... Oh, I can attend to Draco Malfoy. Before... Uh... Yeah, cause he's still thinking that Malfoy has the, uh, is the true master of the Elder Wand. Since it was Malfoy who disarmed... Dumbledore. Okay, that makes so much sense now that I'm thinking through that. I did not think of that. I was thinking more of how Draco and his parents left the battle. I thought that was more what that was referring to. Okay, that was all for my part, but man, I did not think of that at all. So time to view my results. Results, I know quite a lot. 73%, which is better than how I did on the Hogwarts Express quiz, which is actually quite surprising because I enjoy trains a lot. So you you think I would have known that m one more, but eh, to each his own, I guess. Apparently I just know more about Voldemort, which actually does make sense because he is the main bad guy of the franchise after all. Oh, apparently I can retake it, but I won't because I'm going to keep my score as it is. So. Thank you for watching this video of mine. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. The link for this quiz, if you want to take it, is in the description as well as a, a lot of other links, including links to some of my playlists, links to all my social media accounts, links to my other channels. I do have a channel where I put out more educationally based content that involves research. So you can check that out as well. As long as, oh, not as long as, but as well as my Patreon page is linked there. And if you don't know, Patreon is a method that allows you to support my creation process here on YouTube. It's a dollar per month and you get extra goodies such as scripts and bloopers. Along with some other stuff at higher tiers. So go free, well, go and feel free to check it out on your own. That's all I have for you today, so thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for future content as well. And also, because of weird YouTube stuff, ring the bell if you actually want to receive notifications. Your subscription alone apparently isn't enough of an indication to YouTube that you want to know when my videos come out. Go figure. 
And also I have a playlist on one side of the screen and a recommended video on the other side of the screen. So feel free to check either of those out. Thank you for watching and as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. Have a good one.